Hello, this is Shama Gifts. We are, today we are going to learn about Epson PX660. Uh, this printer has a photocopy. We can, you can photocopy. You can also scan documents from this point. Um, you start by putting it on from this button. You can lift this panel like this for you to see exactly what you're doing. Today we want to learn how to, to install the cartridge. So once the printer once the printer is on, it will indicate that it has no cartridge. Um, that is if it doesn't have cartridge. This is what it shows. The cartridge, the cartridge installed incorrectly. Press it down until it clicks into the into place. So this is how we open this printer. You open it like that. You'll find that it has a place for installing your cartridge, but you can't push this manually. You have to press OK. For, for it to come at the place where you need to install the cartridge from. You give it a few minutes after clicking OK. It will bring the, the slot for installing the cartridge. And now you can take your cartridge. You'll realize that you have some, some, some plastic some plastic holders for holding the cartridge in its place so this is how we install it like that but it has not yet been properly installed until we press it down from here and fill the click so if i remove it it will it is very easy to remove it until i i press it down from this point so this is how you do it you can press it all the all the cartridges until you feel it click from there you can put your belt well put it well and then you click OK and give it time to give it some time for the ink to charge This process of charging ink takes about one to two minutes, so you have to be patient until it indicates that it's ready to print, photocopy, or scan. I'll take you back a little bit. When you're, when you're installing the cartridge, you need to make sure that this belt is not too much. It is not too much. And again, you, do, you need to give, it, to, to give it enough space for it to be able to move. Just in case your printer... As you can see. As you can see, if your printer shows that it doesn't recognize some cartridges, what you need to do is repeat that action again. You'll press OK for the cartridge to come up so that you can remove it. Caution, you shouldn't uh, touch this when the printer is processing. So the cartridge is ready. I'll remove my belt. And then for me to remove this, this cartridge, I'll press it from this this area like that until it's loose and then I can now remove it so we'll just try again to install the cartridge you hold it like that you can hold the chip so it has not yet been installed properly until I press down and hear that click. 
So yeah, once you you you, you can press this this white uh, this white button, and it will show you that it will show you it has sensed the ink, and then uh, for the belt you you need to you shouldn't leave a uh, a lot of after installing after installing your cartridges you need to note that this belt should not come from up like this so you should move the uh, from the lower part and then you clip it you clip it so it should it should it shouldn't be very tight or very loose just make sure that it has enough room for it to move again if it is it, it if it is too much it will it will be it, this part will interfere with it so you should make it not too loose neither too tight so once you've done that you press okay and you give it time to charge the ink <laughs>